Today we're going to be doing a pan seared red snapper with potato hash and piccata sauce. So what I'm going to do to start out is get our snapper broken down into fillets, get a pan on and we will start searing that. We'll get the potato hash going, sauce going, plate it up and get everyone fed. First we have the filet here, skin on, descaled. What we're going to want to do is I like to just trim off just a little piece of the belly. Save the scraps, but just get a couple nice six ounces. And what you want to do next is just use a sharp knife and you want to score the fish. Scoring it is going to allow the flesh to cook evenly. If not, it's going to pucker and kind of bow in and you'll end up burning the edges and not cooking the inside of the fish flesh. So you just want to just score the fish, just in a few spots, right in the center. So for the sauce, we want to start on a high flame, just a little bit of vegetable oil, just a little yellow onion. I'm going to add a little bit of caper, which is going to actually, is what makes it a piccata sauce. A little bit of garlic as well. So we have that started. We just want to just barely get a little color. So we've just seared this a little bit. This is white wine, about a cup and a half. We're not gonna use all of it, just enough to coat the bottom. And what we're gonna do is reduce this down and we will add some heavy cream. But first, we're gonna want to get this fish going. So again, wanna get a little oil, season the fillets, put a little salt and pepper. So you can see the oil is kind of sucking back in, so you know it's hot enough and starting to smoke just a little bit. You don't want to start with a super hot pan, but just enough that we can control the temperature. So we got a little color now on our fish, and what I'm going to do before it goes in the oven is just add a little dollop of butter just for a little extra flavor and to help get a little more color on the fish itself. So this is going to go in the oven, 425 degrees, and we'll let that finish. So at this moment, we want to start our hash. Our fish is in the oven. I'm going to light this back on to high. Let's just get a little olive oil in the pan, a little butter. And I'm starting this pan cold just because we want to get these onions sauteed. Season this up. We're going to add some garlic to this. And now I'm going to quickly chop up what's called a gremolata. Just some lemon zest. So we want to take a little parsley. We have the garlic and a little olive oil. Put this. So those have got some color. Add all of our nice potatoes. Re-season just slightly with salt. Now, the gremolata. The idea of this is that you chop it all on the cutting board. You don't want to use a food processor. And this is just going to go right on top of the fish. So this is when I like to take a peek just to see where we're at. We're going to let that, we're going to flip those and let them finish now just to get them cooked evenly since we have that nice golden brown. So we have our cream in now. Add a little dollop of butter and lightly season it. So we're going to pull our fish out what we're looking for is, is like a medium, medium well. So you're still going to see a little bit of the uh, opaqueness of the flesh, maybe a little pink, depending upon the fish that you're cooking. All right, so we are ready to plate our dish. Got a nice big plate here. Just make a nice pile of this hash. Here we have our piccata sauce. We're just going to drizzle around the plate. Our snapper, nice and seared, nice golden brown. And lastly, what I want to do is just get that gremolata down on the fish. And it can't hurt to finish with a little olive oil. So nice and, nice and easy, fresh, great flavors. Uh, pan seared red snapper, potato hash, cotta sauce, gremolata.